Francisco. Hello, New Hope. We're all living with a new paradigm now. Social distancing, sheltering, confinement, and fear. Someone has said the phrase, fear not, is found on the Bible 365 times. I don't know if that's true or not, but I know the principle is certainly in the Bible, fear not. Uh, I hope to be able to expand upon this particular Bible verse in the near future. It's found in Psalm 56 and verse 3. It says, what time I am afraid, I will trust in thee. This is David talking. And he doesn't say, I'm not afraid. I'm never afraid. He says, when I am afraid. He acknowledges his fears. And uh, he had good reason to be afraid, by the way. Enemies were after him. In fact, in the previous verse, he says, they be many that fight against me. Did you ever feel that way? Fear never shows up empty-handed. It always brings many with it. It brings its companions and cohorts, worry and doubt, and exaggerations and anxieties. Fear is the finest tool in the devil's toolbox, the greatest weapon in his arsenal, but David's response should be our response. What time I am afraid, I will trust in thee. There's an answer. There is an antidote, a weapon to use against our fears. It's our faith in God. This is the victory that overcomes the world, even our faith. So it may not be easy right now, it may be lonely and confusing, but faith it out, my friends. Faith wins. Let me pray with you today. Our Father and our God, you are the originator and the object of our faith. We're so thankful that we have a God like the God we have. You are true and faithful. You have made precious promises to us we stand upon those promises today. You have said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. And so we thank you for the peace and the power of your presence today. And may that be a reality in all of our hearts. May our faith be strengthened today in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless.